Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Natalie Is It Done. I remain your host, Shadow Fury 33, and we are still doing the Swiss bracket of or Swiss portion of the June 2016 1v1 tournament. And we are on to round three, which is after Marquis, Failthos, Don, Dying from his Snuggle Waste, Aquinum, and Orphelius have all won their matches, although Crudor was actually replaced by Dance at the last minute, who is now going to bed because they are having some issues. We are overall standings. Crudor is out, Dancer will be soon out. And yeah, so Dancer's out. So right now, Snuggle Base, Orphelius, and Aquinum are currently undefeated with Ultimate Firestar at one point, thanks to having a buy right now, and Google Frog being basically the next player who's actually gotten to win. So right now, we have... So we have Don versus Icons, Dying Throne versus Marquis, Google Frog versus Felthos, Akron versus King Raptor, North Chilean G versus Space Tuna, and Orphilius versus Snuggle Base. I have done Snuggle Base and Google Frog already, so I want to do North Chilean G and Space Tuna. So the way I'm going to do this, for anyone not familiar, what I'm going to do, I'm actually following something that was done for Skullgirls tournaments. I'm basically doing. Actually, let's, this will work. Basically, what I'm doing is that. I want to show off different players every game, and then the final round, I want to show the top two. So whoever gets the top two placement, that's what I'm casting in round five. But for the next couple rounds, I want to just cast players who I haven't really seen much of, and Space Tune I haven't really seen any of, especially not this tournament. So that's the match I want to do, North Chilean G and Space Tuna. Anyway, we are going to be starting as soon as they get in. Just waiting on that. So yeah, I'm curious. I I don't think I've seen Space Tuna. I need to double check. Nope. I have never casted Space Tuna. North Chilean G I've casted a fair amount of. I've actually... Wait, what? What? I, I don't understand why this... Oh, never mind, there we go. Apparently, YouTube's video search does not go for partial words. But yes, I have casted North Chilean G loads of times. I have never casted Space Tuna, so I have no idea how they're going to play. I'm really quite curious. Apparently, they've been practicing for this. Although, they also apparently did not realize that Tartarus had the spider favor it does. They're on Avalanche, though, next, so it's going to be a little bit easier because that's a bit more typical. Like, that's kind of your standard... Well, it favors Light Vehicles a bit more than most maps, but yeah, it's kind of a standard map. What? No. Anyway, so Avalanche is what is up next. Smaller map. Once again, smaller maps. This is going to be a lot of smaller maps. We have Avalanche and then Iced Coffee for round four and Living Lands for round five. So that is a lot of small maps. Archer's Valley being the only map bigger than 8x8 eight eight in the Swiss round of the tournament. Now, the bracket segment, that is going to be, I think, a little bit more flexible. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I think... I think the brackets are going to be basically one of these for start and then loser picks. I'm fairly certain that's how it works. It doesn't say. it. The map rules are not really well defined. So I'm not sure. I'm guessing that's how it works. But I've got no idea. Anyhow, it is going to be... Okay, North Chilean G and Space Tuna are here. We have everything going. And 
and double check this is all good I think it's all good and yes it's all good so let's begin all oh, right probably point out this is going on because I as mentioned before had some issues early on I want to tell people, hey, this thing is still a thing. Wherever that post was, I oh, hear it is. And as I mentioned before, it is round three North Chilean G versus Space Tuna. On Avalanche. And both players starting out. Space Tuna going for the the Amphib Factory, while North Chilean G going for Light Vehicles. Straight up going for the Slasher Push, while Space Tuna not going for anything yet. Okay, they are going for early, early Conch into Duck. I really agree with North Chilean G here. This is not an uncommon thing. I mentioned on the last match I cast on this, which was Tuesday, that typically you get light vehicles for either a Scorcher Rush to try to take out the commander, or a Slasher Push to try to take the center. Although it looks at like North Chilean G, they're being very forward with this push. Normally the push star stops in the first stage around here, and then moves on to the center, but North Chilean G, very confident, going straight for the center, and Space Tuna... Not yet with a counterattack. Couple ducks are up, and they will maybe get a slasher. I kind of doubt it. It takes three shots for a duck to kill a slasher. Ducks having 230 damage per volley. And unfortunately, that duck getting completely caught out in the open, getting killed for free. North Chilean G being very, very strong and aggressive in this opening push. I, like I said, do not normally see this. Slasher pushes like this that are this aggressive are very rare. I think North Chilean G might actually be experimenting a little bit with the fact that Slasher's now stopped to fight everything. A slight AI change, so they actually hit dirtbags and a couple other things. There have been a lot of AI shifts in the current stable, and one of them was making Slasher's a little bit less suicidal. And unfortunately for Space Tuna, this is... This is going south very fast. North Chilean G Slasher Push here. I mean, I don't know how much Sla Space Tuna has experimented on Avalanche, but yeah, Slasher Pushes like this are super common on Avalanche. And Space Tuna now is only only their Commander Metal. That's it. That's all they have. Commander Metal, Dart's coming in for additional support, and Archers are a valiant effort, but honestly, it's really hard to fight anything with these against these Slashers. The Archers are actually apparently working out fairly well. The Slasher's focusing on the commander. The commander tanking all the damage while the archers deal with them. I gotta say, that's actually working out all right. Although, not as well as Space Tuna would like. And Space Tuna about to lose their commander. If that commander goes down, that's game. That commander cannot die. Like, if that commander's dead, it's over. Now, thankfully, the archers do have the advantage that once they start pushing the Slashers around, the Slashers cannot shoot because they're moving, and they can't move and shoot at the same time. Very... Tricky micro there. Archer's trying to push out there. Unfortunately, Space Tuna does not have... They've got to heal their commander, build a caretaker or something, or get some way of repairing their commander, because that commander, that is super crucial right now. If North Chilean G kills the commander, there's nothing that can be done. That's all of Space Tuna's economy, or just about. There's like one metal extractor, that's about it. And that's... Oh no, the commander's gone stuck! Is it, it's gonna go down! It's one more shot! Oh, that archer taking the heat off the commander right at the last second. That was extremely tense, but I still think the commander is in way too much peril. The slashers are going for the for the kill. I mean, North Chilean G probably knows Space Tuna has got no backups right now. This rush was powerful enough. And one last shot! There we go! Space Tuna's commander's down. I don't know how much Space Tuna has actually practiced this matchup. I'm actually curious what they've done for 1v1. I don't I don't know. I feel like they haven't done a huge amount. Because this is one of those things where you see it a lot. 
Like, this is one of those things where, especially on Avalanche, it comes up all the time. So I don't know how much they've played. Apparently they've actually been practicing a fair amount. But I don't... Yeah, they've actually been doing, well, a few months, several months ago. But for the most part beforehand, they were just playing bots. They've only been practicing 1v1 for the last few days. And I guess that kind of makes sense. I mean, if you hadn't seen a slasher push. But yeah, slasher pushes are a thing on this map. And North Shilling G's right about boys. That would have been a really good idea. But yeah, that was really rapid. I've got to see... Okay, there's got to be another match then, because this is a little bit too fast for my taste. And it looks like every other match has been taken exactly as long. Oh, wait, there's Google Frog and... Okay, well, I mean, I didn't want to do too much of the same players over and over, but... Wait, Google Frog and Peltoss finished? Wow, really? Google Frog apparently also cheesed out. That's really kind of surprising. All right, so I'm curious how Akinem and King Raptor's going. Although, that may have also just finished. I mean, Avalanche is such a cheese map, so I wouldn't be surprised if all these matches are just about done. Okay, it looks like we have... Hmm, what are our options? I feel like I want to see... I want to see what's going on with Akinem and King Raptor. I'm not going to take this as the... Well, I guess, what would I call it? The Akinem and King Raptor match. So if they come up later on and I want to cast them, I'm still going to do that. But let's just see what's going on with them.